Okay, here is the northern red oak acorn. Now, if you were to Google acorn clip art, you know, you ever done that for a pre... This is the acorn you get. You know the movie Ice Age, the little squirrel creature? This is his acorn. Now you know it's northern red oak. This is literally the quintessential cartoon acorn. That when people think, what's an acorn look like? It's northern red oak. The cap is very shallow. It sets right on the top. The best descriptions I've heard of the cap is it looks like a beret. It even has the little tassel in the middle. It's a beret. Some people say it looks like a frisbee. Almost. It's so shallow, it's like a saucer. Leaves. There's probably just a few things I'd say. Uh, one, it's in the red. Right? But I think two things are worth mentioning. And again, I'm going to compare it with black. Is the one, the common one, right? There are more lobes than black. And what we mean by lobes is we count. I don't think I'd count those. These little ones here. But here's two, four, six, eight, nine. These have. This has seven to nine lobes, maybe even occasionally an 11, and black has five to seven. So black oak is a, I'm gonna destroy this, okay? Here's, here's a black oak leaf. And really, it would work, but look, five to seven versus seven to nine, they distinctly overlap. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's so good. But they, they do have more lobes if you look at dozens of them. And then the second thing I'd mention, these are way more consistent. Remember black oak had crazy leaves from sun to shade? Uh, all species, including pines, have sun and shade leaves. But these don't vary that much. They stay pretty uniform. And what I mean by that is they go about halfway into the vein. The lobes are, and the sinuses about equal distance. So I mean so they, they're pretty consistent. They're pretty consistent. People describe them a couple ways. They say the bark looks like ski tracks in fresh snow, like first one down the slope, first couple people down the slope, ski tracks, or they'll just call them zebra stripe. But they have flat material on them all the way to the ground, whereas black oak was really, really rough, wasn't it? Again, I said, get burn that image in your eyes as we come down here. And then the form of the tree up in the parking lot, I was saying, forget what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. There's what it is. And that's why they cut big boards out of it, right?